Cuckoonies 1985 movie transcript. Interior jail house. A guard, jail guard unlocks a cell block to call the inmates out for their lunch. Guard, lunchtime, the inmates exit the cells. They're talking to each other. Guard, the longer your animals bark, the colder your lunch gets. Come on, move it out. Look towards the la- last cell. You down there, walk down the cell block. Hey, turkey. Guard walks down to an open cell where one inmate has not merged. He walks in to discover the inmate Jake Fatelli has apparently hung himself. A note on his chest reading, To whom it may concern, guard removes it, turns over and reads the back. Guard, you smuck, do you really think I'm stupid enough to kill you myself? Repeats the last two words to himself, kill myself? Jake opens his eyes and grins and knocks the card unconscious. Jake untangles himself by removing a pipe from his belt which supported his weight. Outside jailhouse, Francis Mifidini, Jake's brother, is pouring a ring of gasoline around the front entrance, while the mother, Mother Fratelli, waits behind the wheel there of RV. Mama F. Come on! Francis throws the empty gasoline can back of ORV and then jumps into the passenger seat, loading a semi automatic rifle. Jake hurries down the front steps of the jailhouse in street clothes. Mama F. Here he comes. Mother starts the car as Jake runs over to the right rear door. It's locked. Jake, Francis, it's the lock. The lock, Francis. Francis, let go of the handle. Jake, I don't have the handle. Over the lock, Mother F. Jake up, gesturing to the sun over the sunroof. Jake, no. Mother, come on, move. Francis, open. Mother F to Francis. Get down to Jake. Come on. Jake climbs head First, through the sunroof. Thanks, Mama. Francis now reached down to the open passenger seat side window. Fires a w- can- gun into gasoline on the ground. Ring of fire flames up around the entrance. Tapping the, the girl, jail guards who hastily emerge, looking for Jake. Francis laughs vis- rec- rec- victoriously. Mama Fredelli puts the car in gear and screeches away. A number of police cars. I quickly pursue them. High school football field. A young girl loads a cassette tape into play and starts it. Andy, yeah, okay, you guys, let's try the pyramid, victory pyramid. Okay, it's all right. He directs the girls as they assemble to the police chase with spy. Sirens blurring. Let's work on the next move. We can do it. Now, Ro, come on, put your arms up. Put your arms up. Smile, good. It's certainly, you got it. Street corner, the Tilly's race through a red light with several police cars hot on the trail. Hispanic woman, Rosetta, Ros- Rosalita, nervously hurries across the street as cars whisk by both sides of her. House, kitchen. Mouth is watching an unrelated police chase on a small television, which is turned up too loud. His father is a plumber. He's struggling to make some repairs under a counter. Dad, turn that TV off, son. I can't hear myself think. Mouth, yeah, right, Dad. Mel gradually turns off the tea set, but the live Fideli chase is passing the open window. He slaps the TV a couple of times, puzzles as where the sound is coming from. Mel, huh? Walks over to his dad and sits down on the counter, looking to the sink. Dad, the water's coming down, son. Mel looks looks in the sink. Oh, no. Dad, coming down, going down, coming down now. Water gushes from the drain, completely drenching Mouth. Able to answer. Dad, sorry, kid, the docks. Stephanie, known as friend of Steph, is at the docks. Chase passes behind her while his head is immersed in a fishing barrel. He is surface with a crab in the hand and tosses it aside, oblivious to commotion. An alleyway. Data is testing a new device. A visit shoots a small suction cupped harpoon with his buckle belt. He touches itself securely to a steel drum mm-hmm. across the alley. A thread spill of his buckle belt, belt buckle starts to reel it in. A drum starts to move f- towards him, much to his light, but it's, it's stopped by a chain attached to it. Data's drawn uncontrollably towards the alley and falls head first into the drum. Police chase speds by while he's in the drum. Stop and snack. Norwitz, whose fr- his friends prefer to call him Chunk, is an arcade game near the... Near the front window. 
He is the only Naguni to have actually witnessed the police chase. He presses against the window, food in the right hand, and milkshake in the other, to get the possible best possible tr- look. Chunk. Oh, wow, police chase. The cars race by, some gunshots have fired. With bullets, the converts of his fat food swear all over his window. Milkshake bursts open. Oh, shit. The beach. The Fidelis arrive at the beach, trembling away from the Viseras. Mama Fregelli laughs. Jake, what the hell are we doing here? Oh, F. I'll trust in your... Oh, trust in your old mother, boys. Throw it into four-wheel drive and hold on to your hats. Francis throws a car into four-wheel drive. The annual RORV bait rally just starting. There's a dozen similar RORVs starting the race on the beach. Now, so welcome to the third annual ORV rally. Are you ready to go? Go. Mama Fidelli launches her ORV forward in the sand and merges with a the rally. They quickly lost in the crowd of other OV, ORVs. Walsh, Walsh, residence bedroom, Mikey. Oh, bummer. Nothing ever, nothing exciting ever happens around here. Anyway, who needs the go- goon docks? Who needs this house? I can't wait to get out of here. Picks up a copy of Mad Magazine and begins to me through. Brand? Really? Mikey? Uh, I just try to deflate myself. Oh, no. You know her. Uh, I'll dictate myself. Brand, that's delude yourself, dummy. Mickey? That's that's what I said. He jumps into ben, Brand's chest, pushing the weights down on top of Brad. Brand. Thanks, Brand. Brand, I know how you feel, Wimp. I am sure going to miss this place too. Brand pushes up hard on the, on the weights. There's you Mikey at the same time. A door, knock at the door, uh, is heard at the front door. Brand and M- Mikey both lunge to get to the floor first. Brand throwing Mikey aside. Adopted wuss. Mikey, adopted wuss? I'm not an adopted wuss. I'll kill you, Brand. Living room. Brand peers through around the corner. He mouth through the glass door. Mouth is there combing his hair. Brand, oh, it's mouth. Brand walks away from the door. He slashes an arm chest, stretching a spring type, spring type chest expander. Mikey opens the front screen door, let Mouth in. Mouth is carrying a Pepsi, wearing a concert t-shirt for Prince Purple Rain. Mouth. Hey, Mikey, Mickey, or Mikey, or uh, Mikey. Seen, Adrian? Hey, guys, what's going on down? Put his foot on the coffee table. Brand. Get your foot off the table, Mouth. Mouth. You got it. What's going down, you guys? Hey, what's the matter with you guys? Come on, what's the matter? What is this, a Lucas Saturday or something? Come on, guys, this is our last weekend together, last Goonie weekend. We're going out in style, cruising the coast, sniffing some lace, drowning some beers. But no, the older brother had to go and screw it by both flunking your driver's test. Brand takes a swing at him. Don't know what to do with you, kid. Chunk outside. Hey, kid, guys. I have got the best. You, you're not going to believe, shouting. Hey, guys, you want to let me in? Mouth steps into the veranda. Chunk is at the gate trying to get in. Mouth, joke alert, is Chunk. Chunk, I'm not lying. I just saw the most amazing thing in my entire life. Mouth, first you're going to do the truff, truffle shuffle. Chunk, Chunk, come on, Mouth, do it. Chunk, come on, Mouth, insistent, do it. Chunk groans and then climbs into a tree stump near the gate. He rolls up half, lower half his shirt, making a strange facial expression, then shakes himself, layers of fat his chest, a band on the donor and juggle, jiggle and makes all sorts of silly sounds of company. Mouth giggles hysterically. Mikey, cut it out, Mouth. Mikey puts on a cord which raises a tin bucket, releasing a rolling ball. It rolls along the rally. Railing and falls into another bucket. A long, complex chain reaction occurs. Ask me, turning the sprinkler, a rotation of which pull opens, put which pulls open the gate for chunk, chunk. Oh, guys, thanks a lot. You guys, you're not going to believe me. This time I'm telling the truth. Chunk steps up to the door, but Mouth closes the screen door just as he gets there. Chunk, you turd. Brand, feed the fish, Mikey. Mikey. Mouth, you flunked your driver's test, Brand. Shut up, Mikey. Mouth, Chunk, he opens the screen door and comes in. 
Okay, let, let's, uh, okay, listen, okay. You guys will never believe me. There are two cop cars, okay? They're chasing this four-wheel deal. It was a, it was a real neat over RV. There were bullets flying all over the place. The most amazing thing I ever saw. Mikey, more amazing than the time Michael Jackson came over to your house to use the bathroom. Brand, more amazing than the time when you saved those old people from nursing home fire. Right? Mouth, right. Yeah. I bet if it was even more amazing than the time you ate your weight in grandfather's pizza, right? Chunk. Okay, Brand. Michael Jackson didn't go to my house to use a bathroom, but his sister did. Balcony next door. Stay there. Loads of good set in the Walkman on his belt. James blows up the bomb and it starts. He has a tight wire strung from the top of his house to the floor roof overhanging the Walsh's veranda next door. Data, okay, Data. Don't mess this one up. Prayer for the flight, wings of flight. Data hangs a wing, wing, wheel type mechanism. Hangs a wheel type mechanism that allows it to fly over the Mikey's house in the 007 type manner. The other's looking out for the road veranda. See him approach Mikey. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Screen door to the mouth. Open the screen door. Data, Mikey. The screen door. Data. Crash lands through the door. And everyone in the, and everyone, and everyone in the room. They all fall over a chunk at the back of the crowd. Catches a tall porcelain statue. Topples from an end table. Mikey. Chunk. Chunk. Hey. I bet you guys thought I was going to drop it, huh? Aha, uh-huh, please just touch it back on the button table. I knew you would think that was a. I knew you would think that from old. Good old Chunk. Touch and falls as Chunk finishes his sentence. He hadn't studied it to show his stability. Mikey, oh my god, Bran, you idiot. Chunk picks it up. Apparently it's in one piece. Chunk, look, it's not broken. It's perfect. Ha ha. Touch is a own man. Mikey knows his penis broke. Mikey, cut. Mikey, oh my god. Chunk, what? Mikey, what? What's my mum? That's my mum's favourite piece. Chunk, what? Yeah, Mikey, worried. Oh, position the broken piece. Chunk, oh my god, mouth like growls to marks. You shouldn't be here. If, you wouldn't be here if, if I went, wasn't. Mikey, shut up, mouth. Brand, shut up, mouth. Data changing the subject. Hey, any of you guys ever heard here in Detroit? Mikey, no. Mikey, sovereignty. There's, that's where Motown started. It's also the, got the highest murder rate in the country. So you now, well, let me tell you what. That's where we're moving when we lose our house tomorrow. Mike, are you shut about that stuff? Never happen. My dad will fix it, Brand. Yeah, sure he will. If he gets his next 400 tra- paychecks by tomorrow afternoon. Mike, what's wrong, Brand? It won't happen. You're, that's wrong, Brand. It won't happen. Mr. Well, well, Mrs. Welsh arrives. Mikey, oh, hi, Mum. Brand, hi, Mum. Chunk, hi, hi, Miss Brent Welsh. I see Data drop by. Data, hi, Mrs. Welsh. How are you? Mouth, hi, Mrs. Welsh. Mrs. Welsh introduces Rosetta. Rosetta, Rosetta. What is this a real letter? Rosetta is going to help you us with packing just until my arm is better. Mikey, ole, mouth, ole, Miss Welsh. Oh, boys, Rosetta doesn't speak a word of English. I know some of you have taken some Spanish in school. Mouth in right traps. Well, Mrs. Welsh, I speak perfect Spanish. If any help to you, be glad to communicate with Rosetta. Rosetta. Mrs. Welsh, you're a life saver, Clark. Come with us, will you? Mouth in the sea. Why, certainly, Mrs. Welsh. Mouth follows the two women out of the room, flashing a wing, wicked grin at his friends. Mrs. Welsh, Mikey, no more potato chips. I told you to brand. Hello, Mikey, honey. The brand is brand, ma. Mikey and Chunk have been hiding the broken statue with their bodies. Chunk, his mouth full of food. Do you think that your mum's going to notice? Mikey, what? Chunk, his mouth full of food, still full. Do you think your mum's going to notice Notice that the dick and balls are missing? Mikey, I wonder if she will no- she'll notice. My- Chunk, that's what I said, Mikey. Of course she'll notice. She notices everything. And she also now sta- showing Rosetta chest of drawers. Relating the following instructions to mouth for trustworthy interpretation. Mrs. Welsh, pants and shirts are in a second. Just throw them all in the cupboard doors. Forget the suitcases, the mouth. Clark can translate that. Mouth, why certainly, Mrs. Welsh. 
Miss Walter whispered to herself, smiling and proud of Clark. Oh, that's wonderful. Simply wonderful. Well, to where is that uh, translation? Rowena goes in top drawer, cocaine and speed in second, heroin in the bottom, always separate the drugs. Mouth walks away, managing to contain his laughter. Grisetta stared disapprovingly at the chest. The others are trying to take advantage of Mikey's business. Grisetta to repair the statue. Chuck, look. How's that? What's that? How's that? How's that? Chuck blew the penis up on upside down. Mikey, you, oh, you idiot. You blew it upside down. Brand, you dork. If God gave us, made us to do that, that way, you'd be pissing in your own, your faces. Chunk looks fine to me. Miss Welsh's mouth and Rosetta approach half open attic stairs. Miss Welsh, for now, Rosetta, this is the attic. Mr. Welsh doesn't like anyone tiptoeing to clo- close the stairway. You have a free hand up here. Sarcastically, I guess. That's why he's always open. Mouth translation. Never got there. You feel worse than all his sexual t- torture devices. Mel walks on. Rosetta stares at the attic in shock. She jumps and Mouth touches her left shoulder. Miss Welsh leads her to, to a supply closet. Miss Welsh, this is my supply closet. You'll find, you'll find everything you need. Brooms, dustpans, insect spray, emphasising. I really like this house clean when they tear it down. Clark, can you translate tra- mouth translation? If you do a bad job, you'll be locked in here. There were clock roaches for two weeks without food or water. Miss Welsh, okay, Rosie? Kindly smile, kindly smile, okay? You're going to be very happy here. The mouth. Come on, Clark. We've got much more to do. You're so fluent in languages. Rosetta herself. Translation. I'm in a crazy house. Miss Welsh has done instruction, Rosetta. Is going up, going downstairs with mouth. Praising for his remarkable skills as an interpreter. Miss Welsh, you're so fluent in Spanish. That was nice of you. Mouth. Nice is my little name, Miss Welsh. Miss Welsh, to all the boys. I'm taking Rosetta. Supermarket. Now listen. Data. Hi, Mrs. Welsh. Mrs. Welsh. I'm going to be back in an hour. Mikey, I want you to keep inside. Brand, coming down with asthma. Don't want him out of the rain. Brand, we should be, he should be put in a plastic bottle. Bubble. Miss Welsh, I'm serious, Brandon. That's not funny. Take one step outside and you're deep, absolute, the deepest damage of a word. Brand shit, Ma. Mrs. Welsh. I don't like that language. That's not exactly what you're doing, going to be to data. Are you dotty? Dotty, dotty, data, data. Miss Welsh, date, date, data. Use the back door for now on, okay? Data, disappointed. All right. Miss Welsh, points to the statue direction. What is that? Chunk, oh shit, what? Miss Welsh, why is that? Still pointing out the broken potato chips on the floor in front of the statue. What a mess. I want it cleaned up, boys. Chunk, lead. Oh yeah, sure. Melv, you got it. Miss Welsh, one hour, kids. Be back. Bye bye. Bye, baby. Kisses Mikey. Rosie. Mikey. But bye, Mrs. Walsh. Chunk. Bye. Brand. Bye, Mum. Mouth wickedly. Adios, Sinita. Mrs. Welsh and Rosetta leave. Continue. Brad to Mikey. You have a breathing, want a breathing problem? Puts Mikey, puts Mikey to chill with him. You got one, Mikey. Mouth. Hey, guys. To Mikey. What's your dad going to do with all that stuff that's in the attic? Mikey, go in and give it back to the museum. Whether they pick to the new assistant, Curly or Kenry. Brand, Cadreta, Mikey. That's what I said. Mel, hey, wait a minute, guys. Maybe there's some stuff up there for us. Maybe there's some stuff we can keep for the outsiders. Maybe there's some rich stuff. Mikey, no, no, you guys. Chunk, food, lots of food. Everyone's taken, talking at once, and they all run to the, for the attic. Mikey, he's subjecting. Mikey, that's my dad's response to you guys. Rosina's probably got a list of us some, some of it somewhere. Guys, listen to me. Damn it. Damn it. That's his stuff. You open the attic stairs and then everybody climbs up. Attic. Brad, hey, look at this. I don't know. Dad had any, all this stuff out here. Chunk, oh, great. Look at that. N- Nito. Mouth, love it. This is great. I like this stuff. Mikey, hey, come on, guys. This is my dad's place. He didn't want you to go up. Here, you heard what my mum said to the housekeeper about I want not wanting anyone up, buddy, up here. Mel picking his arm around, raising his arm around Mikey's shoulders. Mikey, I can't believe you actually have something this cool in your house. 
Mikey, you guys, one man said, you guys, stop. Put down the outfit, okay? Chunk, hey, Mikey, this is great. We have, we have our old heroic decorations in our Hanukkah directions and decorations in our house, Mikey. I don't care what about you having your attic. Thunder outside is quite loud in the attic. Mikey, take the puff of this, Raider. You okay, guys, you saw it. Let's get out of here. Okay? Data, come on, Mikey. Let's have to stay a little. Brand scared, Mikey? Chunk pretending to be a pirate and brandishing a sword. I'm going to go right out of here, I want you. Mikey, ouch. Come on, guys, it's dusty in here. My ears are acting out. You're always breaking something. Mouth, Mikey, Mikey, what? Mouth has found a sensual, pa- sensual painted woman. You pe- poked a hole through the canvas where mouth is. And they now believe behind the canvas, talking the whole mouth with a silly facetto voice. Mickey, come here. Make me feel like a woman. Come on, give me, give me a nice wet licky kiss. Mouth now sticks his tongue through the hole and wiggles it. Brand in background. No, to Data. Yeah, what, what is it? Data, look at this. Data, that's neat. Mikey snatches the painting away from mouth. Mikey, got it. Got that. Now get out from behind there. You're ruining the painting. Mouth, you're running my, ruining my joke. The paintings are always the trash. Mouth, man, you're messing this up. Mouth, who cares? Mikey, I told you not to touch it. Get off of it. Get it off it, all right? Brand and wrote a fancy, uh, is fascinated by an old book about pirates. Chunk, hey, Mikey, Mikey. Mikey, what? Chunk, why is all this neat stuff? Mikey and Museum did all this kind of stuff. They, they did a show. It was a recompermium. It was a brand respective, respective. Mikey, that's what I said. It always contradict me. I was right. I knew that. Well, what? It's about the history of Estonia and where, where well, there's the other the tricks. Chunk, kind of like us. Mike, the Goonies. In background, data brand of looking at old lightning ball. Brad, how did you turn that on? Turn it off. Mikey to Chunk, yeah. Mouth, I got, I got not a reject. Mikey, take that stuff off you, take off. You're going to get me in trouble. Data, to fascinate you with lightning ball. Data to brand. You know, you know how this works. Matt, Matt, watch. If you want, if you put one finger there, Chunk, neat, laser beams. Mike's blaster sounds. Mikey, sat mouth. When you drop something, put it back up. Mikey finds a dust on the old picture frame of the floor facing the wall. Mikey, what's this? Pulls out the picture. Wait a second. He wants to see what's behind the dusty glass. He needs to make it look like an accident. Chunk. Chunk, I didn't touch it. Mikey, I told I knew who didn't touch it. Get over here. Chunk comes over. Data, don't touch it, Chunk. Chunk squats behind side Mikey. Mikey flits for a moment, holding the frame. Knowing that once he hides over it to Chunk, his fate is inevitable. Chunk, Mikey, oh, hold this, hands the frame, don't blush out. Chunk takes it. Why me, Mike? Mike, thanks for taking this up here. Well, that's, that's a real big ball, you know. Mikey himself appreciating the shatter. Five, four, three, two, one. Chunk, and it's got the, that, this one, it's got this big thing. Why well, the schedule, Chunky clumsy, drops a frame and the glass shatters. Mikey, Ridgey empties all the broken glass, pulls out the mat, revealing a dampoon behind it. Mikey, what are you doing? Chunk, hey, Mikey, Mike found a map. Brand, is that the, is that a map? Mikey, yeah. Chunk, pointing at the map. Look, look, it says 1632. Brand, mumbling. I've seen this before, Chunk. Is that a year or something? Mouth, no, it's your top score on pole position. My yes, it's a year, Chunk. Look, Data, is a, a map of the coastline. Brand, that's, what's all the Spanish junk right there? My, oh, oh, looks around. Mikey, who speaks Spanish? Mouth, mouth, you said you could translate, translate here. Place some, some tennis text. Chunk, yeah, translate it, mouth, translate him. Yay, intruders, beware. Crushing death and grief, soaked with blood, transparent, transparent, passing thief. Brand new guys, this map is old news. Everyone and his grandfather went looking for that. When our parents were our age, I mean, when I wasn't, 
not me. How many of you ever heard of that guy? What was his name? The, the pirate. One eyed Willy. Make me whispering. Oh, yeah, one eyed Willy. Out loud. One eyed Willy, yeah. He's the most famous pirate in his time. My dad told me all about him once. Brad, dad will do anything to get you to sleep. Mouth laughs. Mikey, no, see? One eyed Willy stole a treasure once. It's full of rubies and emeralds and. Cut diamonds, Mikey diamonds. He loaded them all up with his ship and they sailed away into sunset to the British King to see he found out about it and he went and set up his home a man set about set up his whole lander to get out go out after him. When the man the they they took them a couple of weeks to call up Willie and when they there was a whole big war between the Armada with his ship Inferno and bringing during the firefight, there was a gun bursting here and the cannon bursting there. Lily then Lily fled because he didn't want to stay around because he knew he'd get killed. So if he stayed around, when he got to his cave, the British he blew up the walls around him. He got caved in. he have been there ever since. Data forever, Mikey forever, Chunk and ever, Mikey trapped Chunk. Wow. Brad, you sound just as cool as my dad does. Dad does. Mikey, my dad tells me the truth. You know what he said. They do what, Mikey? He told me that one only Willie and his bunch were down there for five, six years. They were digging all those tunnels and caves, setting no booby traps. They did booby traps? Mikey, that's what I said. Setting booby traps so that anyone who tried to get into that, they would die. Then they, what do you know what he did? He killed all of his men. They did why, Chunk? Why, he, why did he kill all of them? All of them, Mikey. Because he didn't want them to get his treasures. Chunk, yeah, wait a minute, Mikey. But he killed all his men. How did the back? Or the story get out. Muggy C. I asked my dad the same question. He said one of the guys must have gotten out of the ship with the map and uh chunk. Hey Mikey, hey Mike, I believe you. Ralph, yeah. Well I don't believe you, uh, I don't believe you. I think you're full of it. I think Data I believe him. Mikey, your dad told me. Chunk finds another frame. It's one containing an old newspaper page. Brad, Chunk, what did you break this time, Chunk? Chunk, hey, you guys, look at this. Hey, you guys ever heard of this guy? Look, Chester Copperpot. Data reading, Chester Copperpot? Chunk, okay, it says Chester Copperpot. Missing while in pursuit of local legend. Exclusive scavenger claims I have a key to one-eyed Willie. Mikey, whoa, do you guys realise what he could, we could do? Brand, nobody ever found nothing, you guys. I mean, why do you think this map should be right up here in this attic when it could be in some safety deposit box somewhere out, right? Now, that's right. And anyway, the chest of copper pot didn't find it. How will we find it? Mikey, that, that's what, 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 what if you guys want, just want, if this guy, map would lead to one eyed, well, he's rich stuff, they'd have maybe. Mikey, then we wouldn't have to leave the Gone Docks. Come on, Data, I don't want to leave. Chunk, I don't want to leave Go any more on any more of our crazy Goonie adventures. Buzz, buzz, doorbell buzzes, sounds in the attic. Chunk, ding dong, everyone heads to the stairs, Mikey. Guys, come on, what are you, where are you going? You don't want to do, do this. Picks up a map, flips at the boon and catches it. 16.32, front porch, Mr. Perkins, for his father's ride, some paperwork, mouth, senior jer- jerk alert, senior jerk alert, Rand, can I help you? Perkins, well, hello, young little guys, I'm Mr. Perkins, Troy's father, Data, we know what, who Troy is, he's such a cheap guy, Brand, motionless Data is to stop talking. Unless you stop, need to stop talking. Shut up to Perkins. My dad's not home, Mr. Perkins. Perkins, is your mummy here? Brad, no, sir. Actually, down at the market, buying pampers for all of us kids. P- 
Perkins laughs up slightly, laughs slightly at Bill. Papers, Bill. Hands to Brand. You can give these papers to your father, huh? Read through and sign. Brand sat down for the porch into the rain and collects the papers. Perkins, we have big buy to collect, pick them up in the morning. Brand, thank you. Perkins, thank you. Brand returns to the others, standing on the porch. Mikey, Brand, what is all that? What is all that stuff? Mike, it's dad's business. Mikey, but and what about it? What is it? Brand annoyed. I told you, it's dad's business. Brand, Mikey and the others watched Perkins and Bill return to their car. Butch, look, look them, look at them smiling, Data. You can't wait until tomorrow when they close on, on all, or whatever you call it. Mouth, trash the spoon docks, Brand. When they wreck our house, I hope they make it a scrapyard. Traps and trap. Mikey, I never got the they, they never got their balls out. Chunk going back to the house. You know, I think they made me lose my appetite. Everyone goes inside except for Mikey. Brand comes up to the side door. Mikey rushes to him. They hug. Brand, Mikey, come on before you catch a real cold. Drags a limp and press Mikey back to the into the house. Bill to Perkins. You seem to be pretty sure of yourself, Perkins. The full closure is the definite kitchen. Chunky's rummaging through the refrigerator. He pulls out a can of whipped cream. Chunk, oh God, I'm depressed. He tilts his head back and spirts whipped cream into his mouth. Mikey, if I found what I put in with this rich stuff, i uh, pay all dad's bills. And maybe we could get to sleep at night. Maybe instead of sitting up trying to figure out a way to get for all of us to stay here. Data, yeah, me, me too. Mouth, he free. Chunk, me four. Brand, forget about your ventures, long lip locks. I'll get you out and mum right, right to my ground my ass. I've got a date with Andy on Friday tonight. All right. Mouth, you're dreaming, Jude. It's not your idea because uh, her means her mum's going to drive and you've got to make it with, make it with, well, you've got to make it with her and her mum. Brand, shut up, Mouth. Mikey, shut up, Mouth. Mouth, shut up, Data. Mouth is sitting on the corner, with his butt hanging over the edge of the sink. Brand turns to the facet, soaking Mouth's, mouth's pants. Mikey, guys, what are you going to do about the country club? It's killing our parents. We can't do, can't do something now. He is going to be... Now there's going to be a golf course right where we're standing. The thunder outside the, with the storm, it's almost over the living room. Brand is in a chair, stretching his treasure stroke. Uh, so it's a Mikey, ma- mouth, trunk and plate of playing marbles in front of the TV. A video, music video of Sidney Looper singing the Goonies theme song is playing. Boys all have a little huddle, agree on something, and then they walk towards Brand. Data, hey Brand, how far can you stretch that, Brand? Not that hard, stretches it full, reach of his arms, chunk pins Brand by jumping on his lap. Data, go guys, Brand, get off me, chunk, get off me, get off me, get off me. Chunk, I got you, I got you. Mikey Malfoy Data pull his arms behind the chair and tangle the springs. Brand is helpless and trapped. A full gun his waist out the door. Mel deflates the tires and Brand's new bike. Mikey, what are you doing? He took him 376 more more jobs to pay for that. It's his most faithful thing in the world, Mouth. Now it's the most flattest thing in the world. Let's go. Rand, to a trapped in a chair, struggling and yelling at Mikey. I'm going to hit you so hard when you wake up. Your clothes are going to be out of style. Hey, Mikey, Buddies rode off. Later, Mr. Welch returns home with Rosetta. Brand's chair is now toppled over backwards. And Brand now is lying on his back. Brand, ah, oh, ma, pa, ma, mum. You both could have let, get me out of here, man, ma. Rosetta enters the drops of bag of groceries. Miss Welch, can you not, can't you learn how to exercise like a normal kid? Brand, but ma, ma Welsh, look like you, you hyperactivating here. Where's your brother? Brand, desperate. She, she never helped, she never helped him. Mum, God, what's wrong with you people? Rosetta, Rosaletta, come here. Wait, you've got to let me out of here, let me out of here, Rosetta. Rosetta laughs and sees something to him, vanish. She's unable to help because she's trying to, 
this this just the train to this this build build crosses into the house. Brand, Rosetta, wait, come here, come here, come here. You've got to let me out of here. Ros- Rosetta, Rosetta, wait, she leaves the room. Brand has fully freed himself. He dashes out the house to find Mikey. His mum calls after him. Miss Welsh, Brandon, don't come home. But your brother, or oh, commit Harry Kerry. Brand, that's Harry Kerry Kushner. Brand, that's Harry Kerry, ma. Mrs. Walsh. That's exactly what I said. Brand sitting on his bike, discovering the first tyres. What? My new tyres? They put my new tyres. Dash his bike to bite to grand anger. Those, those, those son of a, I'm gonna, he sees Data's little brother riding around on a little tiny bike. He goes over, she goes with him, lifts it, her off it. Sorry. Little sister screams as she's lifted off the bike. My bike, my bike, Brand gets onto the tiny, uh, tiny bike. So I was riding, I owe you one. Little sister stamps her feet. I want my bike, I want my bike, Main Street. Mrs. Mr. Walsh is working at a museum. He's trying to hang up the flag of the day. The boys ride by and their bikes stay there. Hi, Mr. Walsh. Mr. Walsh, hi, uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, hi, Mr. Walsh. Mr. Walsh, hi, Mikey. Mikey. Hi, Dad. He's had training the only day. Hi, guys, wait for me. Last late afternoon, the four boys have been out hunting for the free rock pattern described on the map. Mike, it is. There's, where's, that's where we're going. Right around the next curve is Grove Rock Beach. There are three rocks, I know it. I know I've got a feeling about this one. Data, you always have a feeling. Mikey, every time you, you've been, had a, a feeling, you got us into trouble. Mikey, got us in trouble? You're the one who always gets us in trouble. Double or nothing negative. Data, I'm James Bond. Double or seven. Not negative or double. Uh, double or negative. Chunk. You guys, I'm hungry. I know. You might have my stomach growls. They're here inside. Others, shut up, Chunk. Chunk. The laboratory. Climbing on a hill on his bike. Hey, you made me good. Go, Go up this hill, the girl said. You said you uh, give me, you give me Twinkie. Now I'm going to take my dinner, and my mum was going to tell me, yell at me, and then she don't going to let me eat my dinner. She ain't. She's going to punish me. Oh, you guys! I'm oh, nobody. Anybody get or got a candy bar? Babe Ruth, back road. Brand in a car, grey sweatshirt, hook up, hood up. Bandana is riding the pink little pink bicycle. Along with comes Troy driving his red Mustang. It is a passenger seat, and Steph is at the back. Troy gains the die. It's just as the rear view mirror to peek at Andy's mini skirt. She's offended by his actions. Andy, Troy, you touch that mirror again. I swear to God, I'm going to smack you in your face. Steph looking at Andrew's reaction. Troy sickening, snickering. Seth, hey, there's Brand. Brand, Troy, oh, like, like the bike. What is he doing? Troy hunks at Brad. Seth, laughing. No wonder he can't get a license. Brad looks back, sees Troy, and the mutters go, they mutter so, oh no, a brand, can we give you a little ride somewhere? Troy, surprised, starts to turn to Andy. Huh? Brand, out of breath. No, thanks. Anyway, though, Troy trying to get to further a little him. Yeah, well, she grabs his right hand, holding his wrist behind, firmly against the car bar door. Let me give you a little ride, Brad. Her. And Troy, you touch that glimmer again. I swear to God, I'm going to smack you in the face. Steph laughing about Seth's reaction. Tom, Troy, sniggering. So it's Steph. Hey, there's Brand. Troy, oh, like the bike. Andy, what's he doing? Troy honks at Brand. Steph laughing. No wonder he can't get a license. Brand looks back to see Troy and mutters to himself. Oh no. Andy, Brand, can we, can you give, we, can we give you a, a ride in somewhere? Troy, surprised, turns to Andy. Huh? Troy, out of breath. No thanks. Any, thanks anyway, though. 
try trying to further belittle him. Yeah, well, she grabs his right hand, looking holding his watch firmly against the door. Let's give you a little ride. Try it, Brand. Hey, try. Hold on. Here we go. Troy starts driving quite fast and throw it Brand is in tow. Brand, hey, let's go with my hand, Troy. Andy and Steph are fighting for Troy to stop. Troy holds fast to Brand's wrist and Brand is all he can do to control, keep control of the bike. Steph, Troy, you're going to kill him. Brand, oh no, oh no, as Troy goes faster, the trailing wheels break off the bike. See, he's in the turn the road and approaching woods. Oh my god, Troy throws the right hand bend in the road about 45 miles per hour and releases Brand's hand at the moment. At that moment, Troy, so long, sucker. Brand cannot stop in time. Goes off the road and flies over the embankment into the woods. Brand, ah, like he has lounge. Mikey, the others are carrying their bikes, struggling. Over here, see here, what? See, by the sea. Mel, forget it, Chunk. Come on, this better be Mike. Mikey, shut up, Chunk. Mikey pulls out the doubloon and verifies another critical element. Mikey, guys, I think we have a match, I'm sure. The lighthouse, the rock, the restaurant, all fit the doubloon. Which means the rich stuff is at the near the restaurant. So he pulls the map out of his shirt. Then he just second mouth. I'm going to need you to translate the map because I can't understand the badge playing right here. Mouth looking at the map. All right, all right. Speak, reading his banish. Mikey, what does that mean? What does that mean? Mouth, ten, ten times ten. Mikey, Mikey. Mel, Mikey, you got a hundred, wait, a hundred? Mouth translating, stretching feet to near Northern Point. Mikey, North Point? What's North? Which way south, Mouth? That's where you find the treat. Mikey, that treat, the rich stuff, the treat, the rich stuff. That's it, data, checks his compass and points. North is that way. Mikey, so it's near the restaurant. Mikey and Daisy start to places. Old rest, restaurant. They start after 60 paces, huddled between some rock on the outside. I noticed two people in trench coats are walking inside. Mate, mouth, wait a minute, guys. There's somebody here. Mikey, six and a, another half of even a 100. Right to, right to an old restaurant. The rich stuff has got to be here, there. Chunk, nervous and shaking his head. I don't know about it, Mikey. Hey, it's going to go to late, huh? It's a, that's a sunny place. When do, what is what's he doing? Uh, what is he doing? Open and full. Data. See, there's nothing going to scare be, be scared of. See, there's already two customers want to inside the restaurant. Chunk. Yeah, yeah, but what if it's not customers? What are they drug drug dealers? They drug dealers. Shit, man. He hurts. Chunk. Do you see their clothes? Drug dealers wouldn't be smart. Would be caught dead in those postal rags. The journey continues. Facing towards the restaurant. Two gunshots are fired from inside the restaurant. Chunk running over and without breath. Mikey, Mikey. That sounded like gunshots. Not the big ones as they hit what well, you hear in a roll mouth, it seems. But bad jo- shot, gun, gunshots. Real ones. They're going to kill us. They're trying to kill us. Mikey. Jeez, Chunk. Take, turn off your brain already. All right. Maybe. S- Somebody might probably dropped it. The poet. Data. Yeah. Mouth. Mikey, please. Please, turn, turn off your brain already. Someone's already dropped a pot. Mike, data. Yeah. Mouth. Yeah, just dropped a pot. Chunk. Yeah, are you sure? Mikey, because I'm not, I, if you're sure, I'm sure. You know, you've got to pick up the pots. And they might try to kill us. They're going to kill us, in fact. You always run towards the restaurant. Chunk continues whining. Mikey runs over to silence him. Mikey, whispering intensely. Chunk, shut up. Mike, Chunk finds a soda cooler at the front of the restaurant. Chunk, soda pop. Oh, boy, I'm my first. He opens the cooler, finds it empty. Damn it, shuts the, slams the lid. Mel, peeing, 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 peeing through the window. What's that? 
Mama F to Jake and Francis. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, Francis, Jake. Dragging the body, one of the first big guy in the kitchen. A boy is looking through the dirty windows. I see movement, but I can't tell exactly what it is. Mikey takes a puff on his aspirator. Data, look at the, the cook is carrying something into the kitchen or something. Mikey, there, yeah, food, looks like food. Or some kind of tr- trash. Data, don't let them see us, guys. Chuck wanders around the side and sees a RV parked in the garage. He sees a bullet holes in the back and then realises with fright. He's seen the vis vehicle before. Chunk, OVV, bullet holes, bullet holes. Chunk runs, panicking back to the doorway to warn the others. But they open the door and they've gone inside. The restaurant looks trash. It needs a serious makeover. Data, shh. Mikey, shut up, Chunk. Mouth, this place is a summer restaurant. Looks like it hasn't been open for ten summers. Maref walks up behind him. Maref, how long have you boys been at that window? Boy is startled. Turn around to face her. Mouth, long enough to see what you need. About 400 roach motels. In this place. Jake comes out of the kitchen. Jake, how the hell am I supposed to create with that? Supposed to create with that Sismonian piece of shit. Notice his boys and comes up over to talk to his mum in Italian. Jake Italian. Mama F blocking the doorway. Jake, these boys are all customers. Jake Italian. Maybe Mama, this isn't Mama, this is a restaurant. Mama Italian. Maybe shut up and do what I tell you to do, stupid. Jake Italian, probably but Mama. Sorry, Mama. Oh, boys, huh? They make themselves comfortable. Huh? Speaking to Mama in Italian, addresses the boys in English. She's going to cook you something. Mama F in an irritated voice. What do you want? What do you want? They are startled. They jump, they jump around to face her, gasping. Data, a glass of water. Date, a glass of water, water. Mama F to Jake. Four waters to the boys. Is that all? Mikey, yeah. Data, yes, yes. Mouth, acting like he's a fine, he's a fine tunnel restaurant. Do you want? No, I, d- I want the v- veal scallopot. No, if I'm free, wish mouth was shut up. They're jumping with anxiety, afraid to talk. Trying desperately to make him shut his big mouth by miming zipping their mouths shut and turning the key. Mikey whispered, mouth, shut up. Mouth ignores them and continues. Mouth, I want, went to the Virginia Inferno and burnt a bottle of Virginia. A 1981 kisses thumb and furl finger like a gourmet chef. Mama Fellini grabs him and holds him fast in the headlock, forcing his mouth open by pinching his cheeks. Mariff, anything we we serve is tongue. She pops out a switch page in her other hand and forces his mouth, tongue uh, out of his mouth. The other three boys all cover their mouths in terror. Where if you boys like tongue, ha ha ha, close the switch, but he releases his mouth. That's all shut down. Panic their hurriedly yank at the chairs from the table and sit down. The mama originally goes to the kitchen. Mum, Chunk falls over. Daddy, you all right? Chunk, hey guys, Chunk, trying to tell what he knows. I know, I know, Data, what happened to the two guys in polyester suits? They came before us. What happened to them? Chunk, I know, Mikey. What is, what is that? Is it? Spit it out, Chunk, you guys. Don't get out of here soon. Will it be some kind of other free shit sim to make him lower his voice? Shared. Hussy sees this crisis. Out of the garage. O R V O R V R V. Four wheel drive bullet holes inside of panking Mr. Blissables. Mouth chunk, I'm, g- I'm going to o- starting to OD on the, the, the biz- bullshit stories. Data, yeah, Mikey and Data, shut up. Mama Fatelli returns with four glasses of pink, pale pinkish liquid. It's water, but rust, probably rusty from old pipes or sitting in a dirty tank for several years. Mama F, scowling. Here's your water. Data, thank you, sir, um, madam. Mikey, thank you, sir. She looks like Mikey. Who recalls? Oh, I mean, madam. Mouth holding his glass up under the lights. That's supposed to be water. Mama, if it's wet, isn't it? And angry, drink it. Mikey begins to act like he's had to go to the bathroom to get away from her. Check out the rest of the restaurant. Mikey, miss, where's the men's room? 
My breath. Can't you hold it? Mikey, no. Chunk doesn't think that's such a good idea and try to persuade him. Chunk, Mikey, Mikey, this ain't the kind of place you've got to go to the bathroom in it. Mama, F, fancy is cheeky. Why not? Chunky does. He gives, goes to see, give her answer. Because they might have daddy long legs in them. See, fancy carrying a fresh arrow through the window. Moves in close to Mikey. Or dead things. Mikey? Dead things. Ralph is trying to coax Mikey's bladder to, by pouring the dirty water paternally between two glasses. My mouth in a deeper voice while pouring. Uh, Mikey, got to go to the bathroom? Chunk. There are killer dead things, a uh, big mean Mikey. Lady, please. Mama F. Impatient. She gives in. Downstairs, first door on the right. Mikey, thank you. Get, gets out and heads for the stairs. But Chunk, maybe. Chunk, Mikey, come on. Mama F. Stay at the, to the right. Mikey, you yes, madam. Chunk, please. Please, Mikey, dead things. Mama F. Shouts at Mikey, reaches, as Mike reaches stairs. Stay to the right. Mikey, I know. Stay to the right. Thank you. The basement. Mikey pulls out the map and rolls it. Walks down the steps into the basement. He hits his head and bang, bang, light bulb. He reaches the bottom of the stairs. It's very dark and damp. Mikey, I know you're down there, a one-eyed willy. You're going to be down there. I can feel it, one-eyed willy. I know you're down here. He Passes his washroom, it smells. Oh, man, that stinks. Here's a roar. That uh, of a lion. What the hell was that? Mikey looks around and sees a slightly door open door. Jake is singing to a creature chained to the wall. The creature roars again and interrupts Jake's singing. Jake hits the creature. Mikey winces at the cruelty. You're ruining it. You ruin it. See the feast I made you? Place a dinner plate on the floor. Look at the feast I made you. You want to eat it? Throws a piece of food at the creature. Here, have some. Mikey glances at the dinner plate. Jake continues petting, pelting food. Grabbed the poor creature's face. Jake, come on, go ahead. You, you'll get something. Turns to leave the room. You don't let, leave me any choice as Mikey's leaving. Jake is leaving. Mikey flattens himself against the wall, hoping Jake won't see him. Jake now at the door, looking back. You won't. They don't leave me a choice. Closes the door. You're just like Mum Francis. You never let me finish anything. The door closed. Mikey's in plain sight, but Jake is not really paying attention. Doesn't see him. Creatures like through the door. Please, Jake singing Italian. Mousetrap snap. Some Jake's Mike behind. Mike, Mikey grits his teeth, clenches his eyes, and manages to keep quiet. Jake doesn't notice him. He disappears upstairs. Mikey relaxes and pulls at the maestro off his pants. The creature cries for some more, some more in frustration, yanking the chains. The creature, food! Ah, oh, oh, hungry, hungry, food, please! Mikey opens the door slightly, take a better look. He notices a dinner plate is out of the creature's reach. Mikey picks up a nearby broom and uses the long handle. Push the broom into the creature's reach. The creature hears the sound of the plate, the floor, and turns around. The creature is, in fact, a large man, but could toast the distorted face. He growls at Mikey. Mikey then drops the broom and backs up. The man picks up the dinner plate, now within his reach. He laughs hideously. In triumph, he hosts it up. To his mouth, Mikey runs out of the basement, terrified. He reaches the top of the stairs. He suddenly, he suddenly grabs from behind a hand, grasped over his mouth. Mikey panics, trying to scream, but it's Brand who's finally caught up with him. Brand, Mikey, why can't you stay at home? Let's get out of here right now. Let's get out of here. 
Bran hurls Mikey over to the door. Three other goonies follow them. Out Mama Froney, 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 chases after them, chases them out. Mama F, get out of here, stay out, turns the door. Herself, kids suck. Outside the restaurant, the group is hiding outside the restaurant. They hide. When they first arrived, Mikey is trying to describe what he saw in the basement. Mikey has squared to my life. They got a, um, a joint. It. Mouth. Oh, Mikey. I've got to change the wall brand. Come on, Mikey. Mikey. When he, when it came into the light, it was all gross and tortured. Tries to imitate your face. Parts were mixed around. There was, oh, an R of, of, uh, Mikey's impression. Brand. Like your brains, right, Lambo? Say goodbye to your little pals. Forever Freddy comes out and with Jake and Francis. They're all carrying a large, bulky object in black black out to the old RV. Chunk sees them. Chunk. Hey, look, look at that. Francis. Mum, why do you have to shoot the guy? Mum F, he's a fed. Francis, we could have taken him on the side of the road in the car. And bing, we shot him in the brain, Mum F. So they just put it in the car. Jake, bring him over here, Francis. Francis, don't give me. Don't give me over here. Jake, Mum, give me. Give me over here. Mama, give him over here, over here. Francis, I'm the one who's always gonna. Jake, you're gonna. Do, you're gonna want the goonies are watch, are watching them, trying to figure out what they're doing. Data, you know, I'm wondering what this is in the bag, Mikey. Oh, restaurant treasure. Data, you sure? Mikey positive, yeah, data that bag, that's much, Mikey and positive, yeah, chunk, look, there are bullet holes in the car, gestures his hand, he's a bit this big, Mikey, come on, our parents are worried, it's dinner time, mouth, yeah, chunk, why don't we go home, Mikey, home, what's home, in a couple of hours, it isn't going to be home anymore, come on guys, this is our time, our last shot to see if there's anything, if it, it is such rich, any rich stuff. Chunk says we've got to. Freddy start the over RV and drive off. Mikey huddles the others down between the rocks out of sight. Mikey, duck down, guys. Get down, get down, duck down. Junk. See there, there are bullet holes in the back of that thing. Mouth is suddenly grabbed from behind. He jumps around. He's only Andy and Scythe. Oh, oh, shit, Chunk, you scared me, Steph. You're enjoying a good laugh at the boy's suspense. Chunk almost gave me a heart attack. Steph, hey, Mouth, look behind. You look better from behind, Mouth. Hey, want to see something really scary? Shows Steph a pocket mirror. Look at that, Chunk of Data. That is so scary, Chunk, and ugly. And he took him to the brand. Who followed you guys, Brand, you did? You were not, you Andy, you were driving out with Troy. There's a bit of fresh scrap of Brian's face. Oh, she touches. Sorry about your face. Brian, oh, don't worry about it. Brushing with a scrape with his wrist. I was born with it. Andy laughing slightly. Brian, just kidding. Andy, anyway, he's being such a jerk, you know. Tilled in the mirror so he would look behind my shirt. So he opened him in his lips, laughs. Brandy. Brian, surprise, you opened his lip. Andy, and smooth, laughing more, yeah. And Steph, laughing, yeah. The other boys have gone back over to the front door. The restaurant, Mouth, tries it, but then finds it lot. A lot, Mouth, to suppress. This way, it's lot, turns around, Chunk, thank God. Mouth, wait a minute, Chunk, Chunk, what? Mouth, you know, I've got some naked pictures of your mum. Take a bath, want to buy them? Chunk, ringing, what? Mouth, real cheap, Chunk, being rage, ah, Mouth, Chunk tries his bath, but Mouth steps out of the way. Chunk rams into the door instead. He waits, knocks the door open. He falls head face down as he stumbles in the room. The others walk over around him as he lies on the floor. Ch- mouth, thanks, Chunk. Data, thanks, Chunk. Bran and the girls are still outside. Bran has to go into the restaurant to get Mikey. Bran, you wait here one second, okay? He go, turns back to the restaurant. The girls... Follow part way. I'll be back. I'm gonna gonna get my brother, right? And you guys are gonna get in trouble, Brand. Just don't leave, all right, Steph? No way. As soon as Brand is out of sight, the girls start walking away. 
talking among themselves. Andy, I'm not staying here. Steph, I'm not staying inside the restaurant. Mikey and the others are arguing about the map. Mikey is trying to make, take charge. Mikey commanding, shut up. Got to get to the lowest point of the floor. Brand staring at the boys, making them jump. Lois, fight nothing, Mikey. Let's go now. That's the restaurant outside the dining room light. Steph steps out the reek. Springs up a foot from her face. Some rotten old rags and dead fish get stuck at the end. Girls scream with horror. Steph, her hands spread out, screaming, Whoa! Andy also screams, Oh my God! Andy and Steph face each other, screaming. They panic. They bolt for the restaurant. Steph was still screaming. Oh my God. Andy still screaming. Two. Oh my God. Inside restaurant. Mikey's arguing. Brand. Mikey firmly. No, Brand. He turns. Brand. Mikey. His girls, the girls race in, terrified and still screaming. Andy runs straight to Brand. Mikey, turn on the lights. Steph, looking around. Oh my God. Mouth turns on the switch. It's dirty and out of use. A light bulb exploses. Andy, looking around, seeing the filthy restaurant. This time of time, oh my God. Steph, it was disgusting. You should have seen it. Andy not, it jumped out from the bushes. I almost killed us. Hand in a hand in a bell. Swear to God. Mikey, come on, Brand, please. Data, yeah. Mikey, what if you find something, huh? A couple of some more minutes isn't going to hurt. Brand, come on, Mikey. We're going to go going right now. Mikey, no. Chunk, listen to your big brother. Andy, while he's talking. Hey, Brand. Takes his hand. He looks. Give him a few minutes. She smiles sweetly. I pulls down his, his hand up close to her face. She takes a looks at him as a as a as long as you stay here with me. Mouth, wait. Mikey, listen to her. She knows what she's talking about. Mouth, yeah, she does. Chunk, yeah. Data, yeah, listen to her. Goonies, let's go. Mikey and the band head for down the basement stairs. Brand the girls follow the basement. They all descend from the stairs to the basement. Mikey's in the lead. A quick grunt is heard from the creature. Goonies frightened. Ah, Steph, Chunk. I hope that was your stomach. Mikey, no, that's, that's the it. Chunk sounds like Kong. Mikey, part of, it, part of it's human. Want to see it? Never grown. Don't worry. He's changed the wall. They, get, they move toward the room. The IT is in. Shh, another moan. The trapping in chains. Mouse scared. I don't want to go, Mikey. I don't want to go. Just, I just, Mikey. Why not? It's chained to the wall, mouth. I know it's chained to the wall, right? Mouth, Mikey, come on. You want to go, don't you? Mouth, yeah. I want to go. I want to go. Mikey, let's go. Starts to open the door. Brand and the girls are back at the back of the group. Andy to Brand. I don't want to see it. Mikey opens the door. The it shouts. The goonies all freaked out. Make a run for it. Andy and Brand about to kiss have driven back into the other room. Brand stumbles towards backwards over a couch and Andy lands on top of him. The others fall like dynamos into the room. Andy and Brand try to pick up where they left off, but not alone. Chunk, shame, shame. Data, we know your name. The would be couple interrupted again, looks at them. Mouth holds to laugh. Come on, Brand, slip her the tongue. Steph, that's disgusting. Oh, no, I can't even look. Oh, I can't. Oh, that's sick. Really sick chunk. Where Steph is grossing out. Well, Steph is grossing out. Get me out, guys. Goonies. One, two, three. Pull chunk to his feet. Chunk. Thanks, guys. Mouth, you're welcome. Data. Can't you smell it, guys? Well, I will. He really is down here. Data. You're gonna, that's great. You know, you guys. I'm going to build one like this. Mikey, all right. We're walking right above here. Chunk finds a welter collar. Welter. Chunk places his mouth under the spigot and opens the valve, but he has misaligned his mouth. Walter gushes to my. Annie and Steph quiet, talk quietly to each other. Annie's an idea about something. Annie, okay, come on. We can do it. Max, Steph on the hip. Steph, oh, wait a minute. No, Mikey's looking for the ideal sport to dig in the concrete floor. Mikey, back and the stairs. Go well up. And it's right about here. It must have been where we said we got to get the lowest pot spot. Where well, Chunk continues to drink for the water cooler. The says Mikey opens, quickly grabs a large tool resting against the, the wall. Mouth, where are you going to? What are you going to? What are you doing talking to yourself again, Mikey? 
gets hit with a tool as Mikey passes. Ow, Mikey, sorry. Mouth, what the hell are you doing? Mikey swings at the solid floor door. Mikey, Mouth, Mikey, what are you going to, you're going to lose your feeling, Brand. Mikey, what are you doing? Grabs a tool, you little Mikey Brand. Brand, give me that. There's nothing buried under here, there. Mikey, there's something buried under there, Josh. A little goof and being seems part. Brand is played by Josh Bolin. Sean incidentally let Brand's real name slip. No one caught it in the editing room. Brand, this is the 20th century, Mikey. Throws the tools aside, Mikey. The map says there's something buried under there. There's gotta, there's gotta be. Brand, come on, get it off. Mouth, look at it. I've got an idea. Why don't we just pour chocolate all over the floor? Grinning, let Chunk eat his way through. Chunk stops drinking the water and faces mouth. Chunk, okay, mouth, very rage. That's all I can stand, raging. I can't stand some more. The sudden movement, Chunk bumps the water bottle. Now wobbling on the start of sand. Back to full, roll, Chunk cries to grab it. Chunk, I got it, I got it, I got it. Stand up, tips over, smashing glass bottle on the hard floor. Chunk, I don't got it. Hours, you clutch, Chunk smiling. Hope that wasn't, it's not a deposit bottle. Steph, this is ridiculous, it's crazy. I feel like I'm babysitting, so I'm not being paid. Mikey, motions for silence. Wait, listen to that. Mouth, what? This bit water is draining away somewhere. Brand, so what? Mouth sounds like my grandfather's. Taking a leak, Mikey, gross out. Mikey, no, it's deep. Like there's a hole or passageway, it's real deep. Brand, come on over to the lock, have a look. Get in the way, Andy's daydreaming about Brand. Andy, to Steph, Brand is being so sweet to me. Steph, oh, come on, where are you? You're in the clouds, and we're in the basement. Brand's been looking around, he notices something about the fireplace. He pull, prepares to pull away the grate for a closer look. Mikey, who's at it? I told you, ha ha, I told you, I told you. Brand grabs the grate. One, two, three, Brand pulls away the grate and feels a slight so drop off of air. You feel the air? Something down there. Mikey, see, I told you there's something. Mouth, it, it might be treasure or something. Data is toying with another machine across the room. And to his surprise, it begins working. Data, hey, this is working, guys. Brad stick, kicks out the bottom boards. They crumble to start of the tunnel. Mikey, Brand, oh, careful. Mouthy, oh, Mouth, are you okay? Brand, yeah. Mouth, Mikey, I told you there was a passageway. Mouth, that, that's, it's the start of a tunnel. Mikey, look. Machine at that door to the hole begins to print out pages of $50 bills. Thinking they're real, data becomes a few static. Data, curious. $50 bills, puzzle. $50 bills, very lazy. $50 bills, a static. $50 bill. Steph, looking at each other, uh, at each other in a spill movement. But did he say $50 bills? Data shouting with excitement. Fifty dollar bills, guys. A hundred and fifty dollar bill. Bill, we had plenty to save the gold docks. Good docks. Everyone now is crowds around the printing press. Decided, Brady presses for the sheet out to everyone. Data, million billions them. Mouth. Hey guys, you know, they're real. Brand. Right, quiet. Picks up one page and realizes the truth. Data, what's what's what? Brand, they're fake. They're bogus. Data, no, it's not. Data, they're phony. Crumbles of paper, paper. They're, they're phony bills. Data, no, it's not. Mikey, I know these people. I knew these people were for the ozone. Data, no. Andy, you've got 25 years of counterfeiting. Get 25 years of counterfeiting. Goonies, disappointed. Ooh, so this is a recent front page from the over oh, a ledger. He grabs it and reads it. Beneath, the headline reads, for Teddy's again, again, and there's three pictures beneath. God, Steph, you guys, recognise these people. Brand, look at it, it's a Fidelis. Data, that's the guy from upstairs, Mikey. The guy who last tried to sing. Chunk, see you guys, you never listened to me. I said they were going to be in trouble. You didn't listen to me. You guys are crazy. You know you guys are self-destructive. It's a funny farm. It has your names written all over it. I'm getting out of here. That cold stops cold 
stops cold, change of voice, I smell ice cream. Chunks walks to a nearby forking freezer. Open the door inside the several containers ice cream. Chunk happily reading the labels. You got Swinston's. Oh look, they got proteins and cream. They got Mandisivy Rad. Excited. A chocolate eruption. They got apple. Oh, they got grape. They got grape and super duper chocolate eruption. And notices the others' mouths hanging open, staring at something else in the freezer. What? What? Turns and notices the dead body. He feels a fear. Ah! He backs out of the freezer, trembling with terror. The others catch him as he fretfully stumbles out. The body falls, falls towards him. They all catch it. Chunk. Ah! Ah, it's a stiff. They all drop the body to the ground. They panic. It's short, cut short. The door down opens down the upstairs. The villagers walk in. The footsteps causing the floorboards above the creek. They all huddle close, keeping very quiet. Data, it's the door. Mama, F, upstairs. Someone's been in here. The door's broken. Francis, I thought I shut it. Who left the rights on? Mama, F, you did. Chunk smells a pizza that Jake and Francis brought back with him. Chunk pizza, other shh. Chunk pepperoni, sh, other shh. Jake, ma, he's eating my pepperoni. Francis, you want your pepperoni? Throws a piece of paper at Jake. Huh? Pulls out a gun. Jake pulls out a gun. Francis, come on, come on, let's kill each other. Let's kill each other with pepperoni. RF, angrily. Jake, put that gun away. I said, put that gun away now. Jake was always hosting you the gun. You always take his side, ma'am. You always. Liked him better than me. Where smacks Jake. That's right. The goonies quickly try and put the body back in the freezer. Mouth, put it back. Dave, close the door. They close the door, but Chunk is trapped inside the freezer. Body, none of them notice. Chunk, we go. We can go. We can go back. Mikey, Mikey. Brand whispering. Mikey, come on. Mikey, the fireplace. Brand, it's the only way out. This guy's never gone out that way. Brand, what? Mikey, it all starts here. Head over to the fireplace and start climbing down the vertical shaft at one at a time. Chunk is still in a phase with a body. Brand, going down first. What's your thought? Mikey, huh? Chunk in the freezer. Guys, I'm stuck with a stiff in here. He's here. Body stumps in the f- trunk. He pushes it down back into turning position. The dead man. Stay, stay. The window. Guys, come here. He's in here. Body slumps over again into slumps. Chunk, oh shit. Mikey, come on, let's go. Others are whimpering, whispering. Go, Andy, go. Go, and he goes. She climbs up into Bill over Brand. Fedezelli's are going up, coming upstairs. Downstairs, Mama F. All right, Jake, forget it. Jake, I'm sorry, Chunk, trying to get the, the attention. Help, 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 guys. My friend of the Diddy's downstairs. Go back to Jake and Francis, who are coming down. Fred F. Come on, you idiots. Jake, Francis. Okay, Mum. Mikey, make sure it's safe. Mouth. Climbing in, in. It's safe. Mama F. Hurry up. Chunk, still in the freezer, screaming. This is real. I'm not kidding. Look in the window. Goodies. Come on. Brand. Where's Chunk? Mikey, Chunk's up there. Brand climbs back up and quickly covers the opening into the floor with a fireplace grate just as the Fredenis walk right in. Francis, I don't want to touch that. I worked two hours on that. Jake, you worked what? This is F. Shut up. Walks in. Notices the broken glass of the caller. Somebody's been here. The caller's broken. Jake, probably trimmer. MRF, go check your brother. Jake, well, I will uh, You, you could have been a trimmer, Ma. Ma, I'll show you a trimmer. Smacks him. Jake, I'll oh, fake something. I'm going to get go check my brother. MRF, you better not have broken those chains again. I'm not going back to the zoo for another set. Francis, huh? Just don't upset him. Ma, just don't upset him. Mama, F, hurry up. Chunk sees that Mama Fantelli walks by the freezer. Mama, F, concern's sake. Then they've got, when they're gone, Chunk funny gets out of the freezer. Brian calls him over to the fireplace. Chunk, it's cold. It's cold. Brian, Chunk. Brand, huh? Brand. Chunk, over here. Mikey, get over here. Chunk, what are you guys doing here? Yeah. Brian, go, go get the police. Hey, Maggie, Chunk, there's some serious shit here. Got to get the police. Look behind you, Chunk, step back. Broom falls over, knocking over some stuff over. A villain window. Brian, oh, the window. Go out the window. Chunk opens the window and starts climbing. He makes out just as the front of come back into the room. Brian and Mikey climb back 
down the shaft to the others. David, did you see these guys? Mouth, wait a minute. Where's Chunk? Randy went to the, go to the police. Mikey, the fratellis are here. We've got to go. Come on, guys. Brian, let's go. Mikey, you're going to the police. Go on, move back in the restaurant.